All right, how's it guys? This is Mr. Robertson here. We're going to do a quick tutorial on a little bit of uh, Photoshop work here. I'm going to start with an image of Wreck-It Ralph that I got from uh, just browsing Google now and searching for a Wreck-It Ralph. I'm going to take a picture of myself. Let's see if I can grab that picture for you as well here. And um, the goal is to use my image and Photoshop it over Ralph's image here. And then I can use that as just a fun thing for Facebook or Instagram or whatever I want to use it for. So the first tool I want to use here is the selection tool. They do give us a whole various uh, group of options, but there's a fantastic one here called object selection tool that pretty much finds the the uh, outline of the shape that I want very very nice and easily for me so it's this little tool on the side here uh, object selection tool can you notice it's selected it for me already I am going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that paste special paste in place paste it into the image so now I can use something called free transform and that allows me to move it around and transform its shape because pretty much what I've created here is another um, layer. So I've got two layers here, the background layer, now this layer that I've created on top of it. It allows me to rotate it any way that I need to, uh, change the size so I can try and match you know, the rotation for the ears. Let's zoom in a bit here and work with it. Okay, so we want to rotate it a little bit, get it into the kind of the right spot. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, I can see we've got Ralph's hair we'd be dealing with as well. Uh, a bit of his neck over there. Um, all right, so let's zoom back out again here and we can get a better uh, perspective of what we're doing. I'm going to try and aim to line this up nicely okay something like that maybe because it is a cartoon we can go a little bit bigger we can cover up a lot of his face his hair etc etc all right so do something like that to start with and click the little tick to say right we've got it in position i'm now going to use the eraser tool and I'm going to zoom in here and just erase part of this layer so that I can try and make it seem that it flows a little bit better. So I'm going to erase bits in, of my face here just to bring his clothes out, maybe part of his neck line. But there we go. So we've pretty much got that in place. And now I just want to play with things like the color, etc. So there are some options like under image, you can auto tone, you can auto contrast, and you can auto color. But you can see all three of those options have taken me further away from where I want to be. So I'm going to undo all of those. And let's work with this pink kind of color that I've already got here. Um, I'm going to play with things like, so under adjustments, let's start with things like the contrast and the brightness. So bring the brightness up a little bit to try and match the tone of the skin. Uh, contrast, we want to be somewhere over there. Great. Then under adjustments, we can work with things like vibrance. Okay, so let's push the vibrance up here and see what it gives me. So it's almost like a saturation of the color. Hey, vibrance. Then there's a, a separate little saturation option. Okay, so I've played with some vibrance. And uh, we've got things like exposure and color balance. Color balance usually comes in very, very handy. So in the midtones, I can add more reds. I can adjust the greens and the magentas to try and find the right color that I want. The yellows and the blues. I can do the same for the shadows as well. Try and find 
you know I'm just by sliding backwards and forth just to try to find the right kind of range of where I'm going to be I'm in the highlights now somewhere in the middle all right fantastic so once I've got that I'm happy with um, maybe using the eraser tool and getting the correct shape of the neck and those kind of things that I wanted um, then I want to smush these two layers together so I want to go to layer mode and I'm going to say merge visible and then that will let me then just simply save and that will save it as the JPEG that it was originally and there we have it so now I've got a little record Ralph character uh, using my face over there all right very short little tutorial but uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that and uh, thank you for listening.